The question is why Jim Cramer says people should avoid shorting AMC. Where is the catch, right? CEO Adam Aaron is daring people to try to short AMC ahead of highly anticipated release. Jim Cramer said on Friday on CNBC, quote, he's basically just daring people to short him. Who they think they are to bet against Adam Aaron? Very, very fishy, my dear apes. Kramer noted that 80% of AMC stock in this current events, current days, current environment, uh, it should be way over 80% of the stock ownership comes from individual investors as opposed to institutions. The current valuation makes sense, Kramer said. I mean, uh, flip-flopping, it's legal, right? Because one time Jim is bullying people who invest with AMC GameStop, now he's praising them. Then he has uh, uh, one of the best friendships ever with Adam Meron. And the following day said that, you know, uh, apes, apesters and so-called people are not smart enough investing in those stocks. But you see, it's getting even more interesting. The co-host David Faber asked Kramer how he could argue that AMC Entertainment current valuation makes sense. This is what Kramer said, quote, I will tell you how I make that judgment. If you wanted to sell 5,000 shares right now, you could get it. So it makes sense to me. But for me, what Kramer said doesn't make any sense. Let's read this again. I will tell you how I make that judgment. If you wanted to sell 5,000 shares right now, you could get it. So it makes sense for me. Is this like a tiny, tiny advice, tiny uh, referral to sell AMC? Is this the catch? Is this the fishy moment of the article? That's okay, let's leave Kramer alone. Moving on. Inflation surges by most in 13 years as energy prices spike. Consumer price index or CPI data rose 5.4% year over year in September. Remember, last month in September, we were looking at the data for August. The data was good. But not perfect. Now in October, we're looking for the data from September. And the data is not looking good. Things are not improving. And remember, this is not a pure representation of the real life expenses that you and me have to pay. Additional, because the consumer price goods, it's like a basket of goods that they pick, right? It's not like what you usually buy. For example, you might buy stuff every single month. They're not part of this uh, basket of goods that they're calculated the additional price increase. This is why last night on Twitter I posted that this is not transitory inflation because inflation is already here for the last what 10 months and little by little every single month we're seeing adding up and we're going to the uh, Christmas months we're going to uh, these major celebrations we have Thanksgiving by the end of this month so I believe we are going to see even higher spike of the prices this is why uh, I'm not encouraging people to start stacking, right? To start buying a lot of stuff, bulk of stuff. But definitely, if you kept buying certain items from your grocery, I'm not telling you to empty the, the, the shelves of your uh, grocery next buy. But guys, uh, if you can buy it now, because in my opinion, all of this stuff will be more expensive. Uh, I'm buying more coffee stuff that I, I usually buy, right? more cheese, uh, more stuff that can like stay here without any issues for the next at least two months. Things that I will buy 100% and things that will go up uh, in prices, in my opinion, 100%. I'm not telling you to buy stuff that you're like so-so, things that you're buying once every like three or four months. I'm talking about things that you're buying every week or every month, uh, things that also have a long expiration date. And again, it's very, very nice to see my tweet on AMC Reddit page. It's very, very good. So last night I was thinking, you know, it was a very, very hard day. A lot of people felt bad about the price action. So I just put the numbers into context. I mean, whoever bought AMC early on should be proud of himself. Basically, you beat 99.9% .9 of Wall Street top analysts this year. Why? Because they don't have 1,700%. Just think about this. This is true and this is real numbers. Uh, and it's fascinating because a lot of people... Most of the people who invest with, with AMC are, are not rich people, right? They're people who are working a 9 to 5 job, people who work in deliveries, people who work in cashiers, right? In hotels, but I don't know. Normal people. 
not wealthy people. And these people were capable to pick a stock that is up over 1,700% without Harvard degree. I couldn't be happier seeing this on Reddit on AMC stock. It's very, very nice, guys. As always, my dear apes, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come back for more.